In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called deducing the unit missing from the solution to a basic quantitative problem. So this problem has got a math equation all set up for us, and it just needs us to figure out the units that are missing from one of the numbers in the problem. Some of the versions of this problem are a fraction. So if you're looking at a fraction, that's just, you know, that's just the one that you got. Uh, and also the missing unit is not necessarily the first number in the problem. It could be anywhere in the problem. It could be in the middle or at the end or whatever. So um, no matter what, no matter what type of problem that you're looking at, you're going to use the same strategy as what I'm about to describe. The first thing that I want you to do is take a look at the right hand side of the equation, actually just the units on the right hand side of the equation. These are important units. Let's highlight them, the gram unit and the milliliter unit. Actually, let's do them one at a time. This gram unit, part of our answer, we, what we need to do is go over to the left hand side of the equation and we need to find the gram unit. Boom, there it is. Let's highlight it. It's an important unit. Let's do the same thing for milliliter. The milliliter on the bottom of the right hand side, we need to also find it on the bottom of the left hand side. Notice that they are not only the same unit, but they're also in the same place, meaning either the top or the bottom. These are the important units in this problem. These are the units that need to stay in this problem. All of the other units in this problem need to cancel themselves out, including the units over here as well. They need to be canceled out. So uh, however this problem is set up, it needs to be set up in such a way that everything cancels except for gram and milliliter. That's you know how a unit conversion problem works. So. The, after we've identified our important units, the next thing that you should do is take a look at the units that you actually have written down in front of you and see if any of those units are just going to cancel themselves out. For example, these units are going to cancel themselves out. We've got a liter on the bottom. We've got a liter on the top. Those two units are going to take care of themselves. We don't need to worry about them. Now, these units are the ones that we need to worry about. These units, not important, they need to be canceled out, they need to go away. We need to add units here in this spot such that the milligram unit will cancel and the deciliter unit will cancel as well. I don't quite have enough room right here, so I'm actually just going to write it underneath in this spot right here. I know that I want the deciliter unit to cancel because it is not important and it doesn't belong there. The deciliter unit currently I can see on top. In order to cancel it, I need to have a deciliter unit on the bottom so that if I've got one on the bottom and one on the top, they'll cancel. The milligram unit is another one that I need to cancel out. It is currently on the bottom, and so I need the milligram unit to be up on top. Now, the way that I have it set up, this milligram, it's kind of hard to look at like this, um, the milligram unit on the top is going to cancel with this milligram unit right here and the deciliter unit on the bottom is going to cancel with this one right here and we're going to be left with only our desired units.